This is your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Listen, today we're going to talk about Adam, an amazing text editor that's completely free. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is basically come here. We're going to go to Adam.io and we're going to click download for Mac. Of course, they have it for Windows and they have it for Linux. So whatever system you have, you just download it, click on that button and everything should be fine. After that, we're going to go to the download folder. We click here, add a Mac. I downloaded it a couple of times before. Those are previous versions. Right now, this is the latest version that I'm downloading. Okay. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this into applications. And now we have access to Atom. It should be popping up here. There you go. Open that up. Click open. And now we good. All right. So this is what you get when you first come into Atom. Of course, we don't have a file or a folder. Okay, so we don't have a file or a folder open, but we could come here to file, new file, right? Create a new file. Okay, we could come here, create a new window, multiple windows. We can also come here and add a project to this folder. Okay, we could come here, add that there automatically we have that that folder inside of this project another thing that's cool about this is that we could just say open directly and we can just open a file individually into this this window or we could just click open on on a whole folder so we could come here and let's say an example let me go to projects hyper app click there automatically the whole project gets opened in a new window we still have this other one here now let's talk about a little bit about the user interface as you can see we have tabs of different files so let's say an example we here right on hyper app we want to open index.html and then we want to open the CSS for this one this is minified but let's pick a better example let's say sas and here you go you have all your sas which is just css and then you have your index.html you can also drag this from top to bottom so now you have main on top you got index on bottom now you can move this to the side and say hey i want a side to side index here or css there you could do the same thing here and flip it around all right and you could have multiple files here let me see let me take the gulp.js okay cool as you can see you have two windows there inside of one side so like let's say an example you're working on all your html here and you say hey i want to have my main dot scss here and i have my javascript here so it'll be easier it's a good flow all right now of course one of the best things about Atom is the fact that it has a whole bunch of different ways of you know customizing it to the way that you like it and all the good things that it has like let's say an example um something like this like it's like an autocomplete so let's say you come here and you say div automatically it shows you okay that's a div tag if you click enter it creates the tag for you right so that's a good cool thing let's say an example if you wanted to find something on this page you could say command F and search app automatically it highlights it for you and it shows you there all right now let's say an example we wanted to search all over the whole site well the whole project itself we could say command shift F and it will search to 
every single file that we have in this project so let's say app search that and then it gives us all the the different results you know I usually use this depending on, on a certain situation like let's say I wanted to find wherever I'm using this right here this function with this same argument I will do a, a search for that I will say okay let me search it here and then it will give me the files that is actually requiring that right so it's a little bit more specific you know instead of just saying app all right so this is one of the cool things that it has and like I said it has syntax highlighting meaning as you can see here these are the divs these are the div tags or well this one's a script tag this is the div tag um, then it shows you the ID the ID is a different color than the attribute right then the params that's in there okay now let's say an example here you see that HTTPS is a whole different color than anything else like it gives you little highlights now let's say an example like goat file like this one shows you the name of the object is gulp is in red and then it shows you the method in blue then the parentheses is white and then inside of it the arguments are green all right so strings are green so this is pretty cool all right it just it separates everything for you visually so like that you can actually come in and know where everything is at and it's just a pretty good pretty good um text editor right to me, this is my favorite one. I love this text editor. This is definitely my favorite. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys around. This is just a quick introduction how to install Atom and get you started. All right. Like I said, you have your file tree here. This is your area where you write your code. And that's about it for this video. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bow. This is your boy Joe back at it again. I didn't did it again, man. I came up with this new course, Hyper App JS course. Guys, if you want the full course and you don't want to wait for the videos on YouTube, make sure you go to the website, you know, codingface.com is going to bring you here to the store. There's going to be a whole bunch of courses. Of course, you could just sign up for the get all access pass. And yeah, whenever you use the description below and you use the link through there, Guys, you're going to get 50% off. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.